why footwork makes a difference. So hi guys. In today's video, we're going to talk about what difference the footwork makes in comparison to techniques or evading when you use footwork and when you don't use footwork. So just a quick example, when you get attacked and you evade, you can do this with footwork and without the footwork. And the difference can be being hit versus not being hit. So what I mean with that is, for example, if the guy attacks you with a punch, it can be the lead hand and you evade backwards. So this would look like this. So if I don't use footwork, you see how much I have to bend in order not to get hit. But the thing is, I didn't move away. He's finished with his punch. I'm exactly there where I was and I'm now closer to my opponent. And when he now continues to attack, the distance is very short and the time I can react is also very small. So it's more likely for me to get hit. And the difference is when I do the same and if I apply the footwork, looks like this so now you see because I step backwards I don't have to bend as much away from here and when his punch is finished now I have the same distance that I had actually before he attacked me In the second case, you can see uh, applying footwork, even when he's uh, punching for the second time, you still continue to step, you maintain this distance so he cannot reach you. And if he wants to reach you, he must step. And you can use this for your advantage because he misses the first uh, punch, he has to step for the second one, you can intercept that in between. This would look like something like this. Versus when I don't move, When I don't move, he's much closer and he can get me more easily. And the same principle is applied to every punch and every evading technique. So even if you step to the side, uh, it's much better to do it with step because then you move yourself to another position instead of just staying in front of the opponent. So you would step back and then you can step to the side and now you have changed your position and you can attack. And if you use the counter, you could move here and move here and then you could attack here and here instead of doing here and then here because you can still counter but it's when you use your footwork you don't have to bend as much and when you don't bend as much your punching techniques are better you can apply better body mechanics when you punch when you evade and punch or counter every time you evade it's better to move also the feet instead of staying static or because if the guy moves and you don't move then it, this is a big disadvantage for you so you want to have this advantage of being moving target and being able at the same time to counter and attack so that's why the footwork is so important same idea is is when you when you slip the punch here you counter the guy but you didn't actually move so what you can do is you can move here and then you can angle off and go uh, to the side of the opponent. So also here, applying the footwork is very important. It's uh, so much better than not applying the footwork. This is also the reason you don't need all these static things that Bruce used to do, but he threw it away. When the guy punches and he blocks and you, st you stay in the front and you want to uh, touch the guy and move his hand away instead of this, you just, you just move and you can counter the guy. Or you can also here just move and maintain the distance and punch the guy or move here and punch the guy or if he is on the left side forward and you can move here and punch the guy instead of staying in front and try to block and remove the block and all this that costs a lot of time and is uh, risky especially when it comes to <laughs> multiple opponents that's also the reason why Bruce didn't use or didn't need any trapping anymore and this is exactly what Ted Wong said at the seminar in Glasgow he said the footwork is the reason that Bruce didn't need uh, trapping anymore you save a lot of time you have better body mechanics and you can do more damage because when you evade 
and punch, evade and punch, you can apply more force into your punch than when you block and punch at the same time because this is a compromise. You have to push this way, but for the punch you have to push also this way. But when you evade, you can push all the energy in the strike, whether it's this hand or this side, or it's even a retreating. So guys, I hope this helped and see you next time.